hi everyone welcome back to starkey Born's dead it's gonna be a really short video i just wanted to encourage you guys i know there's a lot of things out there on youtube that you could be watching and i appreciate you joining in and rowing in our boat as we row in yours let me tell you why we are unique in what we do Stephen and i started this journey three years ago right at three years ago we were debt free i had no background and anything farming, anything agriculture, anything animal husbandry. But over the past three years, I have made it my mission to absorb as much information as I can through programs like Louisiana Food Fellows, beginning a new Farmers and Ranchers program, which I will be graduating this coming Friday and I'm super excited. I'm also working with the USDA NRCS and Camp Deep Builder Dreams and a three-year scholarship on soil health and no-till market gardening in Louisiana red clay. So I'm super excited to be able to bring that information to the table when we have conversa conversations. <clears throat> Something else that I really feel makes Stephen and I very unique is we are totally debt-free. We have no credit cards. We have four types of small livestock on two acres of homesteaded property in Southeast Louisiana. We want to help you figure out how we did this. We want to talk to you about getting out of debt. We want to talk to you about cutting up your credit cards. We want to talk to you about how do you feed your animals a natural diet? How do you worm your animals naturally? How do you take care of tapeworms without having to go spend a couple hundred dollars to take your dog to the vet and he still almost dies because they gave him arsenic because that's what's in tapeworm killers nowadays. So that is the point of this video. We're growing leaps and bounds. We've only been a YouTuber for three months and we're right under 700 subscribers. We're being hit with 100,000 views every single week. Guys, that is, woohoo, that gets me so excited because that tells me that the message that we're sending, people want to hear it. You can do this. You can do this on small acreage with small livestock, totally debt free. We'll show you how to set up worm bins, how to run your worm castings, how to use your worm castings. We talk about topics like rabbit urine. Everybody's like, rabbit urine? You heard me right, rabbit urine. Why is it important? Guys, everything on your form, your homestead, your hobby form, in our case, our formstead, can be used to create a sustainable loop system where your cost of doing what you're doing goes down. Every time I see an increase in commercialized fertilizers, I thank God. I literally sit there and I go, thank you, Jesus. Because guess what Starkey Formstead never ever brings in as an input, commercialized fertilizers. We make everything right here. Everything right here goes back into the garden which then goes back into the animals, which then goes back into the garden. Y'all, my overhead cost to run a two acre farmstead with almost 90 small livestock, not including the red wigglers, is honestly, my husband and I were doing the math the other day, it's like $45 a week. Some weeks it's like $30. It depends on what I've got going on. Do I need hay that week, that kind of stuff. We are trying to learn to produce enough hay for our rabbits here at Starkey Forum said, I just don't have quite enough property. I was gonna do a video on it. I let the grass grow, I knocked it down. It wasn't enough to even make a bale. So that is something I'm gonna to have to think through. I'm gonna to have to find local farmers who have hay that wanna network with me and I'm gonna build a community. And that's what I would like to do with you. Why I'm telling you, yes, there's a lot of YouTubers you can watch, a lot of homesteaders out there but very few of them do it the way that Steven and I do. Very low inputs, extreme outputs. As you increase your outputs off your form, your homestead, your farmstead, your hobby form, you're increasing your income. That's the key. The other really cool fact about Starkey Farmstead, not the fact that we don't have any commercialized fertilizers or commercialized pesticides, we don't purchase any of that but we can put the food out, friends. We really can put the food out. Other unique thing about us is we don't have any heavy equipment on this farm that we use. 
We don't use tillers. We don't use tractors. We don't use any of that. For small acreage, farmsteads, homesteads, please don't let other people tell you that you can't do this without heavy machinery. Because guys, as the gas prices go up, as fuel becomes iffy, we're looking at mass electrical grid breakdowns across the United States in the next couple of months is happening all around the world. Why wouldn't it happen here? Say it all the time, wake up America. So you wanna be able to farm and homestead without the dependency on that type of machinery. If you don't know how to no-till, how are you gonna grow food when you can't till, if you can't till? Now I know that's like a lot of people are gonna be like, She's crazy, can't grow food like that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Does it make it difficult in the beginning? Yeah, but I think gardening and farming on any land when you first start would be considered difficult. And I know people who are doing this that have been gardening for 30 and 40 years and they're like, I've never had crazy weather like this and that's okay, that's okay. It's called weather cycles, you know, happens every couple of years, something crazy goes on. Well, we're just in that cycle, guys. We're in that cycle. Having said that, one more thing that I honestly feel makes Starkey Formstead truly unique is that here at Starkey Formstead, we actually work with the government and with nonprofits that are attempting to help new and beginning farmers and ranchers across America and the world because yes the usda does these same programs across the world here's the unique thing about us i take these classes and i take a lot of them guys i've had FISMA training which is the food and safety produce training classes uh, i work with the usda i work with the nrcs i now work with the cig love the alphabet groups but i'm also a very firm believer in the american constitution and I'm a firm believer in every time they say something that rings a bell in the car in the pit of my stomach, I come back and I am very honest with you guys about what is gonna come down the pipeline. So if you're new at this, if you're old at this, and you're beginning to worry, we're a great place to start because I'm gonna break down for you what is going on with food policy across America. What is going on with food policy in Louisiana? Guys, this is so important. There is so much nonsense going on in the world and it's all screaming in your ear and the reason it's doing that because they really wanna take your, your focus off of what the real problem is. With no food, everything falls apart. You start shutting down farmers, people start going hungry. You have mass chaos and insurrection. Don't you think they know it? Ask anybody that's ever been in war, combat, or any kind of overseas initiatives or whatever, what's one of the very first things that they do? They knock out power grids, take out hospitals, local police, and they bomb food processing centers, farms. Yeah, they do that. It's called warfare. Now, if you look back in American history in the last year, how many of our food processing plants have burned? Do you hear that bell in your head? Because I sure do. You better get prepared. I'm not necessarily what I would call a prepper because I'm a survivor. And I have a lot of natural resources where God put me. I thank God for that every single day. But what I am is an educator. That's what I was prior to becoming a homesteader and a farmsteader. It's where my passion, it's where my gift is. It's the anointing that God gave me. And I really wanna invite you to row in the boat with Starkey Farmstead. Let us row in your boat. Let's educate each other. Let's have common human discourse. Let's decide to set food policy together, Louisiana, America, let's get on board. So if you're somebody that works with a lot of food policy, reach out to me. My email is in, in the links in this. I really do want people to come and tour my form. Is it perfect? Do you see stuff like this? Yeah, because we're always building stuff. We upcycle, recycle, reuse all the time here at Starkey Farmstead. We go under, go under an Alpha Omega form, I guess you would really call it a form model, where the Alpha, the input, creates multiple Omegas, the outputs, and we continue that cycle like that around the form. We're sustainable, 
we're eco-friendly, we have a zero food waste policy on this form. We're steadily backing away from the little bit of 30, sometimes $45 a week we have to buy and feed. And I was actually incorrect when I said I spent 45. I can't remember the last time I spent that in a week. Honestly, I think here lately it's been between 25 and like 38, but the cost of feed is steadily going up. So that's why I'm backing mine off. So you guys have a blessed day. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe and decide to row in the boat with us because guys, we are not going to stop. If you have started this journey with us, watch at the end of the scholarship program we're in in three years with Camp De Field of Dreams. Watch what we're producing out of that garden. Watch the health of that soil as we no-till it, as we regenerate it, and we do it completely organic. You don't need the world's inputs. They have programmed you to be a consumer. Let Starkey Farmstead help you become a producer. You guys have a blessed day.